between the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers. As this one gets underway, Jeff, who might they need to be careful with against Cleveland tonight? Hey, Mike, it's all been said about LeBron James. But where he's evolved the most to me is his demeanor. He continues to embrace the challenges that come before him. He honors his teammates, he honors his coaches, and he honors his organizations that he plays with, with the effort and the attention to detail with which he plays. To Wade, Whiteside's looking for position in the paint. Wade for three with another shot. Not able to hit from beyond the line. Jeff Smith won the NBA Sixth Man of the Year Award with the Knicks 2013. First Nick to win the award since your guy, John Starks, in 97. When Smith is right, he's a heck of a player. He is. Oftentimes we focus on his antics versus his game. But when he is playing at his high point, he's obviously a dynamic shot maker, but he's also a good passer. And I think that gets overlooked. This guy's a good NBA player. Unfortunately, we don't talk enough about his game. Sounds a violation called against the Cavaliers. Dragic takes the inbound pass. Dragic against Irving. To Wade. Oh, they call a violation. It's a five second back to the basket. Oh, this is the old Mark Jackson, Charles Barkley rule that gave players of unique strength and size the ability to back players in no longer. You can't do it for any more than five seconds. And Kyrie Irving with a two pointer. Jeff, I know you like this kid, Dragic. A couple of years ago with Phoenix, he was sensational. Now he's starting to find a nice comfort level in Miami. Yeah, I love him. I love the passion he plays with, the attacking style of getting to the basket. He can shoot the three. So I think he and Wade really complement each other exceptionally well. I think it's going to be a very good fit for Dragic in Miami. to Smith. He's averaging 12 points per game this season. They've got an opportunity here to get a two for one and finish this quarter strong. Terrific ball movement for the layup. Ref blows the whistle. He's got a foul. LeBron James picks up his first personal of the night. And Dwayne Wade will go to the line. He's shooting 76% for the season. First free throw, good. And gets both points from the line. Set to bring it up. Nice ball movement. Irving. And here's the double. Nobody near him. Takes the three. It's good. Off the quick release from Kevin Love. Number two, Kyrie Irving. In count of it goes. And that's it for the first quarter. The Heat down by six. So a good start to this one after the first quarter. We begin the second in a fairly tight game. Neither team able to get control. No, but it was a good tone set by both teams in that they established the way they wanted to play the game here tonight. He sinks it. Nice entry pass there to set it up. Kevin Love with five points and one rebound. Bosch is looking to do damage in the paint. Dragic against Irving. To Dan. He's averaging 13 points per game this season. Sends it into the post. For the Heat, 
the key has always been, are they a good defensive team? Hassan Whiteside has a chance to be a dominant defensive player. Can he be a consistent force? Well, that's the question, Mike. Coming off a very successful short year with the Heat, can he keep himself focused, engaged, and knowing exactly what his job is? If he can, he can protect the basket and do it at a very, very high level. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Bosch. Nice adjustment. Oh, nice block. Irving bringing it up. Feeds it right back. Love. Love fires for three with one on the clock. To Wade. Jeff, the Heat found out post LeBron is not an easy situation to be in. But this team has a chance to do some real damage this year. There's no question. You look at their starting lineup, Mike. Now signing Dragic in free agency. If Wade and Bosch can maintain their health and couple them with Luol Deng and Hassan Whiteside, they have a chance to be an outstanding starting unit, which is both explosive on the offensive end and defensively dominant. Dragic on the drive, nails it. That's a two-pointer. The Heat down by eight. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Backing his man down, gets it off. That's a two-pointer. Excellent position for the rebound by Dragic. Today, he's averaging five rebounds per game this season. Moving the ball around beautifully. There's the step back. Nice adjustment. The Heat with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. And that'll do it for the first half. The Heat down by eight. We'll have more Wednesday night NBA from ESPN and EA Sports after this halftime break. Welcome back to the American Airlines Arena for the second half. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand. Miami's in a real struggle here in this first half. They're not going to win anything tonight if they don't start shooting the basketball better. Well, what they've got to do is remain confident in what they do offensively and take their shots, and you've got to expect that they're going to shoot better here in the second half. Dragic walks it across. Excellent ball movement, great teamwork. Dragic on the drive. Wade fires for three, knocks it down. Wade Wade's one for three from the outside. That was a thing of beauty, the form on that catch and shoot, and an even nicer J. Jeff, I didn't know that Love's middle name, Wesley, was in honor of former NBA star Wes Unseld. He's a family friend, and Unseld, just like Love, a big guy who can rebound and throw great outlet passes. Well, that's what gets overlooked a lot of times with Love and his shooting and his rebounding sort of dominate the conversation. But those outlet passes that he throws, those pinpoint passes, does remind you a little bit of Wes Unseld, who was by far the best of all time at the outlet pass. To Irving. beyond the arc, puts it in. Cleveland's four for seven from long range. That's a nice three-point catch and shoot. Oh, excellent screen. Bad pass taken away there by Mozgov.
moving the ball. Excellent teamwork. The screen is set. Smith against Bosch. Shoots for three. Nails the jumper from downtown. And J.R. Smith with six points. Nice follow through on that shot. Gets the three to drop. Wide open for three. And Dwayne Wade with the bucket from downtown. Can you say too easy? He is sitting there open at the three-point line and knocks it in. Love's trying to get down low. Terrific ball movement. Pass into the post. Out of bounds. Whistle sounds. It'll be Cavs ball. To James. He's among the league leaders in assists per game this season. Final seconds. And that'll do it. Three quarters complete. The Heat down by 13. As we move on to the fourth quarter, the coach has been angry all night. He has just not been happy with what he's seen. No, and he's trying to inspire a greater effort because he knows that a couple baskets in a row gets them back into a working deficit. And he is trying to inspire them not to give in and give up. Bosch fires off balance. Not able to hit. And that's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the miss. To Smith. He's got six points in this game. And hits the three. J.R. Smith with nine points. Cleveland's showing so much confidence with the three-point shot. It's a big reason for their lead. To Wade. Shot clock to seven. Turnover. Terrific anticipation by Irving. To James. Passes out to the perimeter. James against Bosch from beyond the arc. Can hit from three-point range. Hey, the reason you're paid so much is you're paid to play hard opportunity. Here, the pick and roll is hard to guard. Great job not only defending the ball handler, but getting back to the screener and contesting his shot. The assist from number three, Dwayne Wade. To James. James from three-point territory. That's good. Cleveland seven for 11 from beyond the arc. Nothing prettier than the spot-up three-point shot. That one was dead center right from the start. Puts it up from three-point land. Love the rebound. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. Two minutes gone by in the fourth. Miami's down by 17. There's the perfect pick. Strong finish at the rim. Execution. Solid screen. Good fundamental pass. Catch it. Finish. Dragic against Irving. Nice ball movement. He accelerates at the rim. No question. Yep, that's a foul called against the Cavaliers. Their first team foul. And Goran Dragic will go to the line and shoot two. I love the way the NBA player can contort his body, take contact, and get the ball up to the basket, even when being fouled hard. them both. Irving coming across. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Fires from three-point range. And LeBron James with the jumper. Puts it in. Hey, Mike, that bucket ends at my eyes. I'm out of here. You can carry me the rest of the night. 
gets past the defense. Nice. The whistle and a foul called against Love. And Goran Dragic will go to the line. He's two for two from the line here tonight. And he connects on the first free throw. Goran Dragic with six points. To James. Here's the pick. And time runs out. The final score is 36 to 18.